Yo, what's up, I guess. Thanks for tuning into the video. As you saw there at the beginning, we are going to be doing a first time user review on the Pinnacle Boost fishing kayak. Like you bugger saw there, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty sexy. It's, it's got a nice shape to it. All right, buggers, so we're gonna throw the specs up right here. Boom. So as you can see on top here, five meters long. Perfect, cool. It's good for going out to sea. 615 millimeters wide. Pretty narrow for a fishing kayak. What you can see here straight away is that this is gonna be a kayak that is easily maneuverable. The weight is about 27, 28 kilos, depending on what attachments you want to it or extras you want on it. Okay, for sec. So first off, we are going to go through the four S's of the, the fishing kayak reviews like we always do. So the first one being stability. How stable is the Pinnacle Boost fishing kayak? Now with it being 615 millimeters wide, it is a bit narrow. Basically for myself, I got on the kayak from being spoiled with the Trident seat. I got onto the Pinnacle Boost. It literally took me two to three minutes just paddling around and I'll settle straight in straight away. So with the shape of the kayak, it does have a V hull and at the bottom, it's got a flat keel, I think it is. It's really good. I could sit sideways on the kayak, no issues at all. Doesn't feel like you're gonna be tippy. It's almost at that point where it's too narrow, but it's not too narrow. One thing I have to add though, is with the front of the kayak being turned up a little bit like that, these are surfing kayaks. It, it means go ahead, go in the surf. So this one, yeah, I unfortunately didn't have enough time to test out in the surf. Then we come to speed. How is the speed on the Pinnacle Boost fishing kayak? With the length of the kayak being five meters, it's not a lot of kayak to, to, to slog around. The acceleration, Picking up speed like from 0 to 60, it is insane. But going for those long distances and, and on your top speed, you might be a little bit slower than the 575s and the, the longer fishing kayaks out there. Your Pro Fisher 575s are the fastest fishing kayaks out there, but the Pinnacle Boost isn't far behind. With its design, it's actually a pretty decent kayak to paddle and I found it enjoyable. I wasn't hitting the sides of the kayak at all. It's actually, I could dig literally right next to my legs. I could paddle quite easily. Now we go to space. How big is the fish hatch and all that? Now the really cool thing is they've measured all the specs. So we'll throw out the fish hatch specs over here. This is gonna be really cool. So this is the main fish hatch. This one here, I had my seven foot six uh, rods in there and they fitted like a breeze. There's a lot of space with it as well. It's really cool. The cool thing about this fish hatch is that they use up as much space as they can. So where your bum is situated on the seat, they basically have the hatch going all the way under there, right next to your knotters basically. <laughs> and then we'll bring in the back hatches. Now this is really awesome, they're super dry. Two clips, just like the main fish hatch. Two clips that you clip down, and it honestly, it is pretty secure. I mean, even taking the straps off, I circled a little bit to get that, that hatch off. This year, you can't fit big tackle boxes in, but uh, I think your, your lures in that and normal, normal terminal tackle should be sharp. Now the other thing to add is, one of these hatches can be turned into live bar, which is pretty cool. One issue is that it might be a bit of an issue trying to put live bait into the back behind you. And then also the other thing to add onto space, between your legs, they've got a little dry hatch compartment, which is really cool. You can put your keys and all that in there. So, and that one there is a really fuss. It's a really secure little um, hatch. And then we come up to the special features. What makes the Pinnacle Boost Kayak so special. This is one of the first Pinnacle Boost kayaks that they made. So there's a lot of extras that aren't added on and things that have been improved. First off, you take a look at it, it's the design of the kayak. Basically the Jack Russell of the surf is what we're gonna call this one. With a V hull like that, it is actually really awesome in the surf. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough time to test the kayak in the surf. I've watched Alden Davids and Dwayne Roberts from uh, Team Real Excitement and they are slaying the waves as much as they're slaying the fish. It is really awesome to see. And I think as well as that for you newbies out there, this would be a good kayak to start off with for maybe surfing. Almost like the style of BFS, but I think this one's gonna paddle a way lot easier and it's gonna be a little bit uh, lighter as well. There's nothing wrong with the BFS. I've got to say that the fish hatch space is absolutely excellent. The little dry hatch compartments and the dry hatches behind you are excellent. Pinnacle Boost has got five rod holders. Two trolling ones and in between that you've got an upright one. So you can put your gaff, you can put a camera pole, you can put your spinning rod, however it may be, you can put it there. Then it's got additional two uh, upright rod holders all the way at the far back behind your dry hatches. Now if you've got short arms, if you're a little person, you might circle to reach these ones. The actual scupper holes for the foot wells. It's flush. There's no little pillicky sticking out. It is flush. So when you're going up on the surf on the sand, there's nothing that's gonna get damaged. The foot pedals, very secure. It's very nice. There's one more key feature, and we already said the design of the kayak, but the structural design of the kayak. All over the Pinnacle Boost, you will see there's like these little ditches. There's always a group. There's not really like a big, like flat surface area of the Pinnacle Boost kayak. There's always some sort of concave, some sort of structural support, and that 
I find is excellent. It might make the kayak a little bit heavier, but this is definitely gonna make it a lot stronger. I think as well, one thing that we gotta mention here is the rudder design. It's actually got a protected rudder. So when you're going up the surf, it doesn't damage the rudder. It basically got like a little skeg that protects the rudder. I like that the hatch is open to the side. Very secure, it's got two clips. And one thing that I've got to say as well is that there's five carry handles. There's the two hard plastic ones in front and back of the kayak. They're the diagonal one just in front of the fish hatch. And there's one on each side of the kayak. The cons, okay? So first off was just how to adjust the foot pedals. Trying to adjust the foot pedals, you need an Allen key and a screwdriver, and then you can just slide it up and down the track mount, and then you make everything tight again. The other con as well that I saw, just trying to reach the back hatches. If you do have live bait, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a bit difficult to do that. I've only paddled this kayak once, so I'm pretty sure you get used to it super quick. Okay, but I guess for now we come to the conclusion. So we know already this kayak is bold for the surf. It's got a very big fish hatch, so you can pack loads of stuff in it. With all of that being said, buggers, now we come up to it. Would I recommend the Pinnacle Boost Fishing Kayak for a newbie? My honest opinion is yes. I know with the 575, I said no for a lot of newbies. Reason being, it's a longer kayak. It's a little bit harder for you to maneuver. The more you row, the more you'll grow. So you'll get used to it. I just want to say as well, a big thanks to Johan, Zach Attack, Luke, and Jana as well. Thank you so much. Also, they even gave me some rust off <laughs> for my fishing tackle and I think it's mainly for the beard and for my shoulders. <laughs> so buggers, if you're keen on me doing another review on a certain fishing kayak, just drop it down in the comments below. I'm super keen to do it. I really love doing these type of things. Thanks for watching buggers. See you on the flip side.